Honey ho, fellow gadget lovers, it is I, Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the Den of Gadgets, taking a break from the Den of Tools over there. Be sure to check us out over there if you're into tools, power tools, hand tools, the whole nine yards. Go check it out. Also, don't uh, don't forget to check out our channel, Geek Health. We're going to start doing a, a daily podcast talking about keto weight loss, one meal a day eating, and stuff like that. Kind of motivational stuff. It's not really serious. It, it's just I know the the Mrs. and I are journeying towards being slimmer bears ourselves, trying to be you know, healthier and whatnot. And if that's something that intrigues you, go check out Geek Health. I'll try to put a link down below. Anyway, I got some bad news for a bunch of you who are fans from over at Den Tools because a lot of you really love it when the old bear shouts, shut up, Moto, as they, uh, our, you know, the cell phone likes to pipe up. He likes to get in on the, uh, on the, on the fun. But you know what? He's going away because we got a new one in the house. That's right, it's time for Hello LG. Now, the missus has had this for a little while, and I decided I needed an upgrade. I had to do it. Had to do it because, you know, the price there, free 99 Hard to beat that. Now, I will tell you, I'll be the first bear to tell you, when you're getting a, a phone for free from the phone company, uh, it, it's never really for free. There's always a catch. Usually, it's that you're paying so much, at least back in the day, you're paying so much as far as, you know, well above and beyond. Uh, with your plan that you would you're actually paying for the phone you just don't know you're paying for the phone well we got one of these plans a while back where you don't get free upgrades there's no free upgrades with our with our package we just pay for our phone this is the bring your own phone kind of package uh and and we like it because you, you know it, it's more like it's more honest you know exactly what you're paying for and that's great however the, they do have some caveats here. And in this case is if you add another line, you can get this, the LG G8X ThinQ. Uh, 12 gigabyte or 128 gigabytes of capacity, brand new, 6.4 inch OLED screen, 32 megabyte front facing camera. The front facing camera is better than the back facing camera? I don't get that. Anyway, I'm going to throw this over to, you know, my friend Jeff there and let him give you the, the whole, you know, one, two, three on this sort of thing. And uh, let me know what you think about it. Okay. All right. So this journey started with my uh, Moto uh, G six uh, G or six G six, wherever it is here, started getting uh, a little bit uppity with me. It was uh, missing text messages like by weeks at a time. And I thought, you know what? at and having a good deal. So we're going to check out the new AT&T G8X. I know, X, right? ThinQ. So this is one of their new, I don't know, it's not their flagship, flagship phones, but it's their, oh yeah. Because <laughs> you know we had to get it out to play with first. So anyway, there's the phone. Uh, we haven't taken anything else out of the box, just took the phone out. So it comes in like that. Let's see what else they give us. Oh, instructions and more instructions and an LG plug. I think the LG plugs are decent. The LG cable, the LG poker there to get memory cards and stuff out, which is good because I'm going to have to transfer some of those. Oh, there's nothing else in there. All right. That's going to end up, you know, where as is that. So let's see here. Anything worth going through here doesn't look like there's anything fun and or exciting with that real quick on the plug nice plug uh let's get a little sticker that's kind of cheesy putting that little sticker on it but i mean i don't know it's a sticker right oh it's got a usb on the side that's kind of convenient i like that that makes it multi multi-purpose and yeah, yeah i was afraid that it was so rounded it wouldn't stand up but it will as far as the cable itself, you know, this packaging it makes it super easy to get into. Oh, um, it's a basic USB uh, to USB-C cable. There's, that'll die after a few weeks around my place. Let's talk about the phone itself. Okay. We're going to look at the outside of the phone. You can see here we've got a little pinhole right there. 
We got the activate button there. There's a band right there and a band right there separating the case. Probably has to do with case design, antennas, and stuff like that. You got your double cameras with flashlight on the back. Here's your other controls. You got three buttons over here. More banding. On the top, yeah, I know, fingerprint, right? On the top, we have another hole right here. Now, is that the same style? Doesn't look like the same style. I'm not sure if they're microphone or what. And then on the bottom, we've got another hole, a jack, a uh, USB-C, and three holes there. Now, my guess is these are speakers. And so my other guess is that these other holes might be other microphone inputs i'm not sure we'll have to check maybe we can figure that out so i already did the fingerprint printing thing here and it, i've already messed it up come on well, that's pretty quick now let's see if we can get the screen here to all right so we've got a notch at the top which is you know different than most other of the older kind of you know phones which is you know like this one we have here where we've got you know your standard screen you get all the uh, cameras and speakers and everything at the top but you know the notch thing they've gone back and forth wide notch short notch shallow notch it's one of those things that bothers you at first and then it kind of goes away they do kind of use the the space up there as a secondary kind of heading kind of area so it kind of hides some of the stuff that's nice um the responsiveness uh, from the screen is it's pretty good it's it's very smooth very smooth in fact if there's anything I was to say about this that I didn't like is that this is a, a phone that you simply must have a, um, a case for it is it is so smooth it is uh, it's like it's like catching a, a fish it is that kind of uh, of quick there so Oh, I didn't get it that time. Well, it's pretty good. The, you know, with this style where you have the hard set um, finger reader, it's easy to uh, to see where you're going to put your finger. You always know where it's going to be. In this, it's convenient that you don't lose that screen real estate if you're looking for a larger screen in a similar size form factor. I mean, this is not that much bigger, and, it's, and the screen seems excessively big almost to the point where it's a bit ridiculous now specs on this it's got the qualcomm snapdragon 855 it's a 6.4 inch screen with a resolution of 2340 by 1080 in its oled uh with an aspect ratio if you guys are into that by 19 by uh 19.5 by 9 um that's going to give you 403 ppi operating system it comes with is android 9.0 pi uh and then it's got the overlay the lg uh ux i think uh ui comes with six gigs of ram internal and the storage is 128 internal with a micro sd expansion card slot which of course we will be using now the camera is one of the reasons why i really wanted this 13 megapixel super wide uh, and it has an f2.4 uh, and a 12 megapixel rear f1.1 or sorry f1.8 camera and a 32 meg front facing camera this is so you got uh 13 and 12 plus a 32 this is you got all sorts of options here uh, it is water resistant, uh, the IP68 rating, dust and water resistant. You're not going to go swimming with it, but if you get splashed or, or something, you shouldn't freak out. It's got some basic shock uh, pr uh, productivity, so if it gets dropped, it shouldn't, the internals shouldn't go all wonky monkey, provided you have a good case for it. Now, um, the battery it comes with is a 4,000 uh, amp hour non-removable and i know what you're gonna say about non-removable batteries and stuff uh and it comes but it does use the qualcomm quick charge which is kind of nice because i have the uh let me just pull it over here i've got and i just happen to have this from over at denna tools they uh, uh aki had sent me this and i remember when i first got this thinking well what is this thing and I, I thought it was just some sort of weird hub at all first because it it plugs in via Thunderbolt. 
and it gives you two USBs. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. I flip it over and I'm like, oh, and a USB-C and an HDMI. This is a all-in-one docking station for your laptop. You set your lap, you leave your 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 keyboard plugged in, your mouse plugged in, your accessories plugged in, and your monitor plugged in. You set this thing down, you plug that in, and now your laptop is a desktop. And then you set your phone on it, and it's charging your phone also. That is just I love. I've been playing around with this thing. This thing is too awesome. Anyway. Um, Connectivity, does Wi-Fi 8.0, sorry, Wi-Fi 802.11, A, B, G, N, A, C, W, Q, R, P, Cincinnati, uh, Bluetooth 5.0, uh, GPS, NFC, FM, FM, does FM radio? This thing has FM radio. I, I gotta see this. FM radio? Apparently I need to program my thumb in there too because of the way I keep holding it. All right, and one of the nice things about this is that there is an option for, believe it or not, a second screen. LG makes a dual screen case. This snaps into, has another screen over here, that looks exactly the same as this. I don't think it has the notch. And, uh, and it folds up into a nice little case, and then you have a little outside screen, so you can see stuff like what time it is and if you have any messages and such. And they were giving that away when this first came out. They were giving that screen away. Of course, you had to pay for the phone, in this case, we got the phone for free by upgrading with AT&T and adding a new line, which I was planning to get rid of my line, uh, which pretty much only spammers call me on anymore. So uh, I, I figured I need a new line. So that, that's a really cool option. Uh, the other thing is, I, and I forgot to mention this, it has dual stereo speakers, 32-bit hi-fi quad DAC sound. Uh if you're an audiophile, that might mean something to you. For me, it just sounds good. You know, it's nice. The dual rear, rear cameras are flush. That's one thing I do like about this is they're nice and smooth. Uh, one of the weird things about this thing is the cameras were on this like weird raised kind of bubble there. I don't know if you can see that. Can catch on stuff every once in a while. Um, and uh, the it's it just it has a great form factor to it. The, I do kind of wish that these buttons were on this side for being a right-handed person. I guess it, it's it's easy for me to use my thumb rather than those. That's just one thing out of it. But as far as everything else, I mean, it's really hard to complain about this camera, especially especially at the price I got it for, right? Now, I will say this. I thought that the aftermarket case selection was a bit if, iffy on it. I thought they could have done a bit more, but the, um, or the, the, I was hoping that there would be a bit more. Now, who's going to use this phone? Well, it, this phone is great for media consumption. All right. You got voice to text. You have good typing on it. It has good haptic feedback. You got a nice wide screen for viewing videos, gaming. It's got enough of a processor, enough memory, enough storage that you can play all the latest mobile games on it. Um, it, it's slim enough to, to fit in your pants or in your bag. You barely know it's there. There's not much you can't do on this. You could edit videos. You could do the whole nine yards. So is is it worth 700 and some dollars? Like 780 is the price that it was going for. And I'm going to have to say that I don't know. I paid about, I think, $200 for this phone. This is a mid-range non-flagship phone. This is a close to flagship or flagship phone and or it's in that that top in top tier of phones. I think this phone is excellent and I've used it for the longest time. And if it wasn't having problems and I needed something reliable for my business, then I would probably still be using it. Uh, I could probably do a factory reset on this, fix all the problems I've had, reload the software that could it's more than likely the case. But I thought with this opportunity coming out, since I was thinking about changing my phone number anyway, that I would change my phone number and move over to this other one. I was talking to the girl at the store, Janet, super nice, super nice lady. She really helped us out. And she was saying that her and her husband take turns swapping out, changing their phone numbers to get the newest phone. And I thought about it. I'm like, who could do that? How could you give up your phone number every so often? And 
what it what I came down to realize is uh, that she's doing the same thing I'm doing, which is actually using Google Voice. And if you're not using Google Voice, you should check that out because Google Voice gets you a number that you can do a lot of fun stuff with. Uh, you can view your voicemails and other, other stuff online. Um, and that way you can have this, this phone number that you put out there. And if something happens, it's easy to ditch and you get something else and you keep your real phone number secret. Well, for business, for small businesses, that way I can put my phone number, my, my Google Voice number out there on the Internet and I can allow it to handle all the spam and it to handle everything. But my actual phone number, I'm going to keep and, and give, you know, just to my family. So I know when I get a phone, when I get a number coming in from them, that I know it's important. Anyway, that's it for me. I'm going to kick it back to the bear. But let us know down below in the comments if there's any other questions you have about the LG GX, or sorry, G8X Thin Q. Wow, what a name. And uh, what you'd like to see, and maybe like what you'll see next. Some of the upcoming things we got on the channel we're going to be talking about. Uh, we got Animator we're going to be playing around with. We got some flashlights. Uh, we got a bunch of other stuff coming up. So stay tuned. Make sure you've liked, subscribed. Ring that bell, because remember, Facebook doesn't believe you if you don't ring the bell. Facebook, YouTube. <laughs> I don't even know where I am these days. Anyway, there you go. He went over the whole bells and whistles of it. It's a nice phone. I, you know, I did some checking. Uh, one of the holes at the top, I, he should have known this, is, is the, the little pinhole for getting access to your, your SIM and SD card slot. You know, they're really tricky these days trying to wedge those things in there. They're hard enough to get, get to in the first place. But, and the other thing is, you know, we talked about a little bit, is that dual screen thing, man. You can get that case that has a second screen built into it. You can buy those on the secondary market right now for a little over a hundred bucks. Uh, I think 120 or something. So I, I saw them going for less than that on on uh, eBay. I think I saw one going for like eighty dollars. Now it wasn't from a big seller with a lot of, you know, uh, points or a lot of you know good remarks behind them. In fact, I think they had zero. But the fact of the matter is, eBay is pretty good with their you know customer service thing. If you got a problem, you just call them up and either the seller fixes it or you get your money back. So. You know, maybe it's a, a, kind of a risk-free way to do it if you want to jump into this and you missed out on the free phone or the free double screen. That said, that double screen, again, wasn't all that free because you were paying for the phone. Of course, they're going to toss in a nice little screen there for you. Anyway, that's all the bear has for you today in the den of, den of uh, gadgets, <laughs> den of tools. Anyway, love having you guys here. Hope you like what we're doing. Let me know what else you'd like to see us cover. As, a, as Jeff showed, we got a lot of other stuff around the shop that we're going to be featuring here. Uh, and uh, we're going to be doing some more stuff with dash cams. Uh, we're going to be covering a, an overview of the dash cams over on the Den of Tools, but then we're going to be doing a, a, a highlight of each individual dash cam over here. We got some flashlight stuff coming up and we got a bunch of other stuff. Anyway, be sure you liked, make sure you subscribe, be sure you ring the bell and don't forget to comment. Hey, why don't you even consider sharing this? You know, it always helps the, 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 uh, the channel grow. We're trying to get our, our growth on. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.